Happy Tolkien Reading Day. March 25th is the day that the ring is destroyed. The end of Sauron, the defeat of evil. But it's also, I think in the old medieval liturgical calendar, it was the date of the crucifixion which sounds like a defeat, but of course, from the Christian point of view, that's a day of victory as well, because Christ takes our sins away. Because nine months later is December 25th, which is Christmas, of course. And so the same day as the Annunciation and the Crucifixion at different period of times in liturgical history, but also the day the ring is destroyed, because like a circle, like a ring, the liturgical calendar goes over and over and over again and describes this battle between good and evil. By the way, the Fellowship also leaves Rivendell on December 25th. The whole journey of the Fellowship from departure to completion of the quest, it's a liturgical season. It's from Christmas to Easter, or Christmas to crucifixion. Is there a Tolkien book or a character that resonates with me the most? Well, yeah, there's a book that resonates with me the most. It's The Lord of the Rings. No surprise. I mean, The Hobbit's lovely. That's fine. Silmarillion, pretty great. There's a part of The Lord of the Rings that resonates with me the most right now, and it's the six chapters that Peter Jackson didn't adapt. So it goes, three is company, a shortcut to mushrooms, a conspiracy unmasked, the Old Forest, in the House of Tom Bombadil, and Fog on the Barrow Downs, those six chapters. But especially Three is Company and A Shortcut to Mushrooms. They read like a love letter to the English countryside because it's just Frodo and Sam and Pippin walking from Hobbiton, from Bag End, to Crick Hollow, which is where Frodo's gonna live in his retirement, as it were. It's just them walking across the Shire. And it, a lot of it is, a lot of it's botanical. It's talking about trees and bushes and fields and marshes or the marish as they call it and the, the stars and, and he meets Gildor and Glorian of the House of Finrod and the elves take them to their um, sort of their hideaway above a town called Woodhall and it's very quiet. I sort of hear chamber music playing like a little four piece chamber, a little quartet, chamber quartet playing when I, when I read those chapters. And those are the chapters these days that I return to over and over again. Because yes, the Black Riders show up. Yes, there's a sense of danger and confusion over where Gandalf is. But they're incredibly peaceful and nothing bad has happened yet. It's just a sense of adventure, but mostly because it's such a beautiful description of the English countryside. Three words that describe J.R.R. Tolkien's works are what they've meant to me. Adventure and love and sacrifice. The movies were great, but go read some. Read those six chapters. Happy Tolkien Reading Day. Go read some.